Hello and welcome to the MBS show. Um, I guess this is a let's play because in today's episode, uh, joining me is Jacob. Hey everybody. So, well, considering we're a bit low on uh, stuff to review at the moment and considering the preacher is gonna, not going to be back for a little bit, we decided to try something different for a change this time. Yeah, it's true. Um, in all honesty, we have a lot of other things on the pipeline um, that involves ponies, but at the same time too, uh, we we don't really want to touch G five right about now. <laughs> yeah, I mean mm -hmm. it's it's all cool and whatnot, but I I, I don't have the stamina for G five. Yeah, me neither. That's a whole other another kettle of fish. Yeah, we still we still need to get through season ten to the end. Yeah, that's also true. That that is also true. But um, I'm just gonna put the um, layout of what's going on with season five. Uh, there's the movie which we did review, and there's the special which I don't think we review. Did we? No. Okay. No. We and didn't. there's the YouTube shorts which is going on for a while now. Uh, problem with that is, the shorts are short. <laughs> uh, it it might. Take, uh, it, it might be fast to review them, but just the stamina of trying to review a show like that might just break me, man. Because remember with um, Pony Life, that was okay. It, it, it got really rocky near the end, but uh, it, it wasn't really that f fun for us. Yeah, I suppose when you got an overload of comedy, it's kind of hard to go through the whole thing. Yeah, especially when they start going um, comedic and whatnot, like instead of going uh, like a full 22 minute show, they, they decided to go split half and half. So uh, with this one right now, like uh, e even with um, Pony Life, it's the same formula but even worse, it's on a YouTube format where it's shorter. So, uh, I, I think that's... How long was... Oh no, wait, I think I'm mixing them up again. Um, Pony Live's the G4 one. G4.5. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the, the G5 one? G5 is technically um, not pure G4, but it's G4 but in shorts. So they took the G4 formula, shrink it down to 3.5, sorry, 4.5, and made it their own. So each show can be done faster and cheaper, but it also lasts you about 5 to 11 minutes per episode, depending on the topic at hand. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> when you're so common, I suppose it really doesn't amount, amount too much. Also the, about. also the way that uh, YouTube laid it, laid, laid it out is not that great because uh, on their playlist they inserted the episodes also, and also uh, miscellaneous music videos and whatnot. So getting through an episode, like if, if you want to watch an episode and watch it uh, bin binging back to back, you're going to have some really confusing stuff in between. Oh yeah, yep. those kind of things. Yep, and it's official on their YouTube page, so that is a bit annoying. Why would you even do that? <laughs> like, it's like trying to force you to double the whole thing that you don't feel... Really... I mean, they spent money and they thought that would be um, kind of a pool, so they did it. They also do it with music videos and whatnot, or songs. So, in hindsight, that is smart, but at the same time too, uh, for a person that just wanted to watch back to back, it's very annoying. If I really enjoy the song, I'll try and find it on my own time and on, on my own terms. <clears throat> yeah. But anywho, uh, in today's episode, um, Jacob is going to join me in the world of Guild War 2. In the world of Tyria. I got <laughs> no idea and um, background on MMORPGs for me. Uh, way back in the days of the 2000s, uh, there was a game called Ragnarok Online where the game was free to play back then and this was just to introduce people 
to the concept of what is this game blah 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 uh, do you like it yes now uh, pay money <laughs> so that was back in the days and I got no idea what the heck I was I doing it was fun but I got no idea what am I doing I don't think I ever tried that one um it's what, what was it it's a Korean MMO uh, which is 2D animated it was kind of it, it was really fun for what it was back in the days this was back in the time where world of warcraft was just booming so uh that was kind of a wow effect for um, people who just wanted to start mmos and it was highly uh, promoted in local comic books or magazines that it got quite a following to the point where people did their own servers to play the game and whatnot. So it's, it's a very standardized MMO style RPG where you just go fetch, fight monsters, do events and so on. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> do explain to me about Guild Wars 2. Oh, where to start? Basically, Guild Wars uh, came, well, uh, Tekken is going to be 10 years old about uh, on the 28th, basically on my birthday. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But, uh, well, Guild Wars started way, way, way back at about uh, some time, like, uh, on the Warcraft. But, of course, it never managed to catch up to its popularity, and, well, uh, I don't know, I never really played the original one, and when I did try out the trial version, I, let's just say, considering what WoW had to offer, it was really unimpressive, because you only got to play as a human. What? And really? That's it. WoW? Yeah. Wait, I thought WoW, you could be uh, Alliance or Horde, and if you play Alliance, you could be a human, elf, and also whatever. And if you play Horde, you can be Minotaur, or um, Goblins, or Orcs. Yeah. Alliance had uh, Humans, Dwarves, uh, Night Elves, uh, and Gnomes. Meanwhile, the Horde had uh, Orcs, Trolls, Tauren, and the Undead. The Goblins were introduced uh, way, way, way later uh, in the future expansions. <coughs> But unfortunately, Guild Wars, you could only play as human in general. I mean, you still had a lot of classes to choose from, but I don't know. I remember that it was really confusing because, uh, I don't know how to put it. You had, you could take spells from other classes that you normally didn't use on that one. This, it was really complicated. This is for Guild Wars 1? Yes, we really was run. Oh. And also, you couldn't jump in the game. Uh, that's not very much of an issue for MMORPGs. Well, yes, true, but when you, you're competing against WoW, when you could, well, try to scale a mountain, but here you basically sort of got boxed in a way. Well, basically the whole, th uh, the zones were instant. Huh. And... Unlike in WoW, where, where, where everything is open world except for the dungeons, uh, it really kind of took it out of you when you had to wait for the loading screen. <laughs> alright, alright. So, uh, now you're introducing me to Guild War 2 and whatnot, and earlier you mentioned, okay, uh, we, we don't have much stuff to do, and also Silver is not around, so let's try this. So, okay, um, what am I getting myself into? Well, uh, this takes place about uh, a few hundred years after the first game. <laughs> and a lot of things have changed. Uh, see the character on the far left. Alright, so I'm going to switch to the gaming side of this for the audience at home. So, yay, this is Guild War 2. And let's get into game. Alright, so, uh, going to the far left, can I... Okay, I'm just going to click on one and see what happens. Alright. Yeah. So the far left is a yeah. char. The char yes. race was forged in the merciless crucible of war. It is 
all they know. War defines them and their quest for dominating drives them ever onwards. The okay, let's not scroll. Uh, the weakling and the fool have no place among the char. Victory is all that matters, and it must be achieved by any means necessary, any means at any cost. Right. So the char are basically the main enemy of the first guild wars. Mm -hmm. But after a few hundred years, some things have changed. Basically. The Char uh, rebelled against their, uh, those that they previously worshipped as gods and they used their machines to basically kill them and are now uh, still uh, warmongering creatures but uh, they're no longer uh, incredibly hostile towards everything. They're their own people. Huh. All right. There's only one uh, faction that still remains loyal to the previous gods and they're in a constant uh, war with them. All right. Okay. So um, they're basically minotaurs, but uh, in Guild Wars Two, they're called chars, right? Well, they're not really minotaurs. They're actually cat people. Oh, really? No. With horns. Yeah. Oh. And four ears. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, that does not rep that's not <laughs> that does not really represent in the art for this one. You know, it's a bit hard to see in this because this is. Um, Basically, everything you see at the start is basically made out of concept art. Yeah, but well, actually, uh, the screenshots and uh, basically anything like transition art is everything made from the, uh, as I said earlier, um, concept art. Yeah. 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 But still, even though if it's concept art, you still need to kind of at least represent what the audience at home is looking because if I were to look at this, I would have thought they were minotaurs, and the description that I was reading doesn't really say that they were cat-like. Well, you can see the muzzle. Yeah, I mean, I can see the muzzle, but to me, like I mentioned before, it could be a minotaur. Yeah, yeah, but don't worry, this is only for uh, this part of selection screen. Uh, when, you, when you try to make your own character with the selected race, it basically shows them how they move. Alright, okay, uh, let's move right. on to the next one. And the next one is humans. humans. Okay. Uh, Back to the base. All right. Okay. Um, you want to take this one? Oh no, you don't have it. Mm, all right. Well, well, I do. I do see it on the share screen. So. All right. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> humans have lost their. <clears throat> humans have lost their homeland, their security, and their former glory. Even their gods have withdrawn, and yet, the human spirit remains unshaken. These brave defenders of Krita continue to fight with every ounce of their strength. Basically, it's a uh, human, whatever. Yeah, human. Is the, the, the main race of the first game. <laughs> uh, basic human stuff. Okay, so yeah. uh, I, I forgot to ask about what benefits are the in picking certain characters because uh, I, I do play a bit of Dungeons and Dragons, and each character race have bonuses on their, well, um, their class or, or their stats. Uh, for example, oh. if you pick a generic human, uh, you get a bonus to plus one on every stat you have. Or if you pick a variant, you can uh, increase two of them? Uh, yeah, I, I, I haven't played human in a long while, so um, it, it's a bit confusing for me now. But still, uh, certain characters have certain perks. So what does... Uh, the cat people, the char have, that the others don't? Oh, let me try to remember because uh, it's... Uh... Hold on. Because uh, I, usually I don't use these abilities. Well, each race does have their unique uh, skills or traits or whatever you call them. The char, I do remember, you get unique bazooka that you can fire what? for a short time. Yeah, charzooka. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. All right. So uh, the oh, char. Hold can... on, let me... Yeah. Let me just uh, check out to find it. All right. Well, well you Charizuka. do that. I, I'm going to process in what you just said. The char have a bazooka option, and. I think the meme is called Charzuka, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. okay. You got a battle roar which uh, gives you a, a more power and increased uh, fury. What is it? Oh yeah, critical strike chance. You get a hidden pistol, which basically you shoot a pistol and you evade. And apparently you throw uh, a mine that uh, cripples your opponent. Oh, okay. There's actually a lot. Yeah. So basically... There's actually a lot of abilities, but uh, this is pretty long because there's utilities and elite skills. All right. So the char are the only class race that have uh, well, um, uh, firearms. Well, no. Based on uh, the. Um, Firearms are, uh, are based on certain classes, but these uh, these ones are specific to char. Ah, okay, so they have additional bonuses to firearms then. All right, cool, cool. So With humans, uh, you get you get an uh, extra ability to heal. Uh, you remove uh, damage or time effects from you. And then you can take on the avatar, uh, on the avatars of the gods. Um, boring. Okay. Yeah. So, what about the third one, the Nord? The Nord. The Nord. Norns. Alright. Okay, I'll take this one. <clears throat> this race of towering hunters experienced a great deal of defeat, defeat when the ice dragon drove them from their glacial homeland. Nevertheless, they won't let one lost battle hover push punishing punishing deepen their enthusiasm for life and the hunt. They know that only the ultimate victory achieved legendary awaits uh, rewards uh, achieve legendary rewards. Yes. So these people are basically all about glory. <laughs> and, basically, why? <laughs> yeah. So basically they're from, judging by their description, I'm going to guess that they're the tank of the group. Well, I wouldn't say so much a tank. Uh, basically there are uh, spe uh, specializations for tanks, well, sort of. But well, these people have, well, they're... they're uh, they're, they have the ability to call uh, animals to their assistance, even if they're not a uh, specific class to summon them or control them. So you can basically either summon an owl or a worm. But for the elite skills, which are basically tied to the, uh, well, their culture, is that they can take on uh, animal forms. So you can shape, sh shape shift into a bear or a raven, a slow leopard or a wolf. Uh, for a short period of time. Uh, in all honesty, to me that sounds like a druid. <laughs> well, there is a druid spe specialization in this game, so... Uh, uh, well, well, whatever it is. Well, okay, uh, so basically the Norns, the Norns are not specifically tank, but they're tank... No, well, technically they're not tank, so basically what, from what you told me is that they specialize in uh, getting into fights with creatures helping them, so uh, they ha they always have a plus one when fighting, and when they fight, they bring a friend along, and as time goes on, they can shape shift into an animal. Yes. All right. All right. All right. And the fourth one. I'm the Asura. As Asura. All right. Um, goblins? No. Well, sort of. These are chemical inventors, maybe short in stature, but they're intellectual giants. Among the Asura, it is not the strong who survive, but the clever. Other races believe they should rule by virtue of their power and strength, but they're deluding themselves. In due time, they will serve the Asura. The description tells me that they're mages. Well, Pretty much with such high IQ. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, on top of being um, artificers, they also cast magic. Something like that. Well, every uh, every race can basically cast magic, but right? they have uh, some special. Uh, well, in their sort of in 
invention oriented. Basically, they apply sort of uh, how do you call them uh, distortion on the battlefield. Ah, uh, okay. So, so uh, pain inverters, radiation field, techno babble, <laughs> uh, and as as elite skills, they can summon golems to fight for them. Wow. Um, so, by, from what you're telling me, they're mostly the uh, support class in the game, where they drop down AOEs. Uh, drop down healing AOEs and also uh, just do do support stuff. Basically, their support class. Well, this isn't really a class; it's just a race. See, the the there aren't really any race specific classes in this. Huh? Any uh, race can be any uh, class they want to be. Mm, okay, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing the description is kind of leading me on. Because um, w the way I'm thinking of it is, uh, they mention about the alchemy magic. Uh, 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 al, al, hmm, what's that? Al magic, magic and stuff. So um, I'm thinking that they can do magic and also build stuff. All right, no problem. Yeah. So the last one on the list <coughs> is Silvari. Silvari. Okay, Silvari are not born. They. They awaken beneath the pale tree with knowledge. Uh, glen, uh, glen, glen, glen in their pure uh, pre-life pre. dream. This noble being travels seeking adventure and pursuing quests. They struggle to balance constant uh, curiosity yeah. with duty. In Higgins. Higgins with chivalry and warfare with honor. Magic and mystery intertwine to shape the future of this race that has so recently appeared. Alright, um, interesting. And these are all the races. As for what they offer, well, let's see, uh, they can grant uh, nearby uh, health regeneration to their allies, they can cripple their opponents with plants, and then they summon uh, spirits to aid uh, to aid them. Mm, all right. So okay, okay. So what do you recommend for a beginner? Well, honestly, this is completely up to you. What do you want to be in this one? I don't know. Do you want to be a war a warmonger? Or do you want to be a stalwart defender? Do you want to be a glory hunter? Do you want to be a... Uh, how do you call it? Um, an intellectual know-it-all, or do you want to be someone who's uh, pure and virtuous? Oh man, um, not really sure, because uh, their description doesn't really... It feels like the description of the characters don't really matter until you get into game. So, I feel like I'm just going to be the boring human. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then uh, pick male or female. Uh, no difference, right? No. Alright, so I'm going unless to... You like to watch, unless you like to watch uh, the big exposure at the back. <laughs> I think that's, that goes for all games. But okay, for this scenario, I'm just going to go for male. And... Alright. Alright, okay. Wow, that's a pretty boy. Yeah, and these are your classes. Well, technically, in the Guild Wars, they're called professions. Professions, okay. So I can go for warrior. Oh wow, okay, now they change. Uh, guardian and guardian is the tank, right? Well, there's no specific tanks. War uh, warrior has also the ability to tank, but well, uh, let me put this way: uh, if you go by the by the WoW standards, warrior is basically a warrior, and guardian is well close to a paladin. Ah, alright. So, let, let, let's just read a bit. Um, the warrior. Uh, warrior build their adrenaline by successfully striking an enemy. They expand it to unleash devastating burst attacks. Warriors are versatile and resilient fighters. Right? Uh, Basically, if you want to go into the thick of it, this is your class. Ah, right, right. Guardians are... Uh, guardians gain power... Powerful personal enchantments for their virtues, which 
they can briefly expand to aid friends or damaged foes, formidable on their own guardians, right, on their own guardians, shine bright in the company of allies. Mm, feels like he's a support guy, like, oh, if I fight and be near me, friend, so you can get stuff. Yeah, it offers, this class offers a lot of support. Alright, and then there's the Revenant, which is an unlock for me. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately for the Revenant, you need to uh, have the uh, Heart of Thorns expansion. Right. So this is at the moment close for you. Right. But basically what the Revenant is, is uh, you call upon the spirits of ancient heroes from the afterlife, and they empower you. Ah, alright, alright. And then we have Rangers. Uh, Rangers team... Uh, very, a variety of pet companions to complement their fighting style, rounding out their arsenal with traps, nature spirits, and survival skills. They have the tools to take on any type of foe. Alright. This is basically your hunter. Ah. Then we have the thief. Alright. Self explanatory. Uh, thief. Manage their individual, manage their individual uh, in, initiative. Initiative. initiative during combat, expeding it to unleash carefully time attacks. Uh, what they lack in defense, they make up for with skill to debilitate, Deliberate. teleport, or <laughs> vanish from sight. Okay, sounds cool. Uh, engineers, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna pass through. Uh, uh, alright, alright. Hmm. Ooh, uh, hmm. Some of them yeah. are interesting. Yeah. Mesmer is sort of a mage that fights using illusions. Hmm, okay. The elementalist is a basic mage. Alright, so what do you recommend? Like, what, what do you recommend? Well, first things first, you like to primarily focus on melee or ranged combat. Huh, that, that's the thing, I, I, I like to do both, but uh, I, I got no idea what I'm getting myself into, because I, I got no idea how the battle system is going to work. Um, I, I don't want to put preconceived notions in my mind, because technically, uh, getting into the heat of battle would be fun, but... Playing as a thief would be fun too, especially if it works how I think it works. You wanna go for it? Sure, why not? Okay, so we decided thief then. Alright. And this is your customization. So I can be tall or short. Oh! Wait, 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 click. Uh, uh, click the... Oh, there we go. Oh, it doesn't go any shorter. Yeah, sorry. This you can't be on a score level. <laughs> this, this would be stupid, like, oh, I'm a tall thief. Oh, <laughs> find the tallest guy in the room. <laughs> I'm just going to go by default what they pick. Um, physique. Oh, yeah. Also, you can toggle on and off the armor on the helmet over there above, on the top. Is that? High armor. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> we, we can make them birdie or whatnot. And there's actually, what, uh... Six, seven. Oh, okay. So, all right, I'm gonna go for the skinny one because reasons. Uh, let's put his clothes back on. Oh, toggle lighting. Oh, okay. Head options. Um. Yeah, man. They they have a lot of pretty boys here, and also <laughs> some. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Arena Net is sort of Korean, if I remember. Yeah. I had that feeling. Man. Oh, the, the character creations. Um, you know what, since... Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, don't care. Right. Hairstyle. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wow, but still, their character creation is not bad. You can really go ham with it. Yeah. I, I, I think I already found one that I really enjoy, but let's just go through the whole thing because um, how often do you create a character, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Man, the hairstyles are wild. And surprisingly, there's a few ball types here. And I think I shall go for this one, yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. Uh, let's go for a brunette and facial hair. And Pretty Boy doesn't have that. Um, okay, this is if you want to go in more detail, but you don't have to. Nah, man. Like, uh, no. Okay, armor, armor. That, okay. Okay. <laughs> this this one? is one one good. This is one good thing because in the in Guild Wars two, you can customize the color of your armor uh, on the spot. Ah. So even if you change this, you can change it later in the uh, in the game. All right. All right. So I'm just thinking. Okay, uh, let, let's go for, you know, a thief that really wants to blend in. One thing you shouldn't do is do this. <laughs> now you're a mesmer. <laughs> no! Like, he's so bright. Find the most prettiest boy in the room. He's the thief. Oh, boys, okay. Um, but, but seriously, uh, let's, let's play around. Um, okay, this one... This one and maybe should we do this one? Yeah, that that, that works. Uh, lower part. Um, let's see. All right. And what did I pick for the top one? Okay, cool. Um, this doesn't seem like I have anything right now. Yeah, you don't see anything. Footwear. Can I put on my Tims? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And next. Uh, okay, this, oh. <laughs> this is the part where you basically shape your character's uh, personality and background. So, for the early part of, uh, of the game, uh, you, you're gonna unlock a special uh, personal story that you're gonna play through. Ah, anonymity, determination. Uh, Subterfuge. Okay, let's read what they do. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, yeah. I got a mask now. Yeah, this one is uh, com uh, cosmetic. Ah, alright. So you can like, unlock this uh, as well. Alright. So, whichever you pick. So, does this do anything for the character in the game? Well, or? Well, no, this is basically just uh, the cosmetic. Flavor, alright. Oh, oh, okay. So, basically. Okay, uh, a mask draws your attention and an uncovered face allows people to identify you. I prefer a more subtle subterfuge. A draw hood lets me blend into the crowd and no one knows I was there. Okay, the determination is I'm in business, I'm like the okay. And my talent lies in the art of stealth. Infiltration and escape. I do not draw attention to myself. To guard my identity, I hide my face behind a mass of darkness. Such a future. Yeah. Okay. Trouble may follow me, but I use my blank to uh, overcome it. Charm. Charm. Dignity. Dignity and ferocity. Charm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um,. For you guys at home who got no idea, uh, like I mentioned before, I play D and D, and my class that I play in the campaign I am now is a hybrid of a bard and a rogue. Uh, rogues basically are thieves and whatnot. Uh, and one of the things that I push for in my character is charisma. So his charisma at where he is now is at 19. Maximum is 20. Don't ask me how I got it high. The GM just let me get away with it. So, uh, whenever I try to talk to a person or lie to a person, the rules are always high. And I'm the type of person that likes to talk and get the story going. Uh, obviously, this is not going to get me the same results, but hell, if I can get a discount on that stuff, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what do you recommend, man? Like, what's your views? Honestly, I got no opinion on this one. 
All right. Okay, let's Please go. Charm, if you want. Okay, and this is where your personal story starts. Yeah, all right. So, uh, street rat coming up. Oh, my God. This is this is all those. Yeah. I grew up uh, poor on the streets, living uh, hand to mouth. Every day I was challenged. But like I tell my old buddy Queenie, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. I've worked hard to change my luck, but I've still got a long way to go. <laughs> Boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go for this one because this one has potential. Okay. Uh, one of my biggest regrets is that uh, unknown parents. Uh, I never searched for my true parents. When I was an infant, I was abandoned in an orphanage. Oh my god, this is so cliche. A kind couple adopted me and because my uh, my family. However, I always wondered... Uh, now, nah, man. <laughs> okay, what's this? <clears throat> I never recovered my sister's body. Dead sister. My sister was a uh, Sherpa. Sento killed her while she was out on patrol. They never recovered her body and it was... Uh, it always bothered me. Oh no! <clears throat> I passed away from a circus. When I was young, I had the opportunity from in the circus, but I turned it down. To this day, I'm sorry I didn't. I'm gonna go for this one. This is fun. <laughs> circus. <clears throat> Everyone said I was blessed by oh the gods. All right, all right. <laughs> when I was young. Whew. So I'm guessing. Uh, this got a specific for my class? Uh, for your uh, race. Race? This not specific. class. Alright. Yeah. Um, Duena? Duena, the goddess of healing, air and life, is the even tempered leader of the old gods. She is often depicted as young, tall, and slender, raising into uh, into the air on luminous uh, feather wings. All right. Grant, Grant is the god of darkness, ice, and death. His acolyte know that the veil between worlds is thin. Death does not frighten me. Even the darkness, darkest night, gives me comfort because. Uh, Graph watches over me, alright? Balthazar, Balthazar, the god of war, fire, and challenge, oversees the battle arena. He gives those who have a knack for combat, strategy, and skill with weapons. I have trained hard to honor Balthazar. Meladaru, Meladaru, the goddess of nature, earth, and growth, can be found in every harvest and every flower. She smiles upon those like me who have an affinity with animals. Oh no! Uh, Lysla. Lysa. Lysa. Uh, wears many masks. She is the dual face goddess of beauty, water and illusion. She is the patron of the most attractive and graceful among us. Her blessing has touched me. Okay. Doesn't seem like this would be perfect for me, but the masquerade the, the enchanter, no, the masquerade, that's not you mentioned, was perfect for this one, I guess. Okay, uh, Cormier. Cormier is the goddess of order, spirit, and truth. She was once mortal like me. She inspires me every day to find greater courage to seek, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go for this one, even though this sounds like... Something a, a necromancer would pick. Oh! Really? So, okay, what, what, what would my class be? Because when I read the description, it was like, Oh, Edge Lord, like this is work, this work for me because um, <clears throat> I work in the dark at night. Oh, God, Batman. Well, uh, personally, I think uh, Lisa would be best. Really? Lisa? Lisa? Yeah. Mm, I, I guess. I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm going to trust you on this. So, right. Lisa, the goddess of beauty, blessed me when I was young. Okay, so my name. I, I need to create a name. 
for my character. Alright. I'm going to write something. I'm going to write you a can, name. You uh, can use two names, by the way. Ah. You don't have to use the single sentence. Alright, I'm going to write a name. Don't want to Alrighty then, that's my name. And we begin. Alrighty then, this is going to be very fun. I don't hear voice acting. The human race wants to go terrible. Oh no. Now, we struggle to hold our ground. We've been defeated, driven back, broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong despite the silence of the six gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in divinity's reach. The city is my home. I grew up on the streets. Although I have friends, my life has always been hard. I faced the worst this city could throw at me, and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shamor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I can take care of myself. But that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. Is this my character? This is my story. Is this my character speaking? It's... Yes. Oh wow. Well, honestly, that would not be me. I would not say those things. <laughs> Okay, he was under ready. <clears throat> okay, for, for the start, you're gonna have to play out a little tutorial so you can familiarize, familiarize yourself with the, the environment of Guild Wars 2. Alright, it is huge. Back, it. Alright, so, okay. okay, okay, SFBD, alright. We're under attack! Hey, hey! Right click. Oh. Oh, okay, I can do that. All right. All right, I'm moving the camera. Okay, um, one. Oh, okay, so there's a cooldown timer. Oh. Well, it's not so much a cooldown timer, it's, uh, how do you put it? A repeat attack. This is basically your auto, auto attack. But you need to be close for it to. You don't even have to press it constantly, you just need to close, press it once and it's gonna auto repeat. Ah, alright. Mm, alright, alright. Alright. And there's your uh, quest guide. Oh, this person. Yeah, with the, yeah. Hello, person. What do. Okay, I need to press, press F. F. Oh. Everybody get to the end. We can protect you at the end. Okay, no. Everybody get to the end. We can protect you at the end. Uh, I guess I'll go to the end then. Yeah, you can see the mini map uh, on the uh, bottom right. Ah, I see. You need to go. All right, but still, uh, I do not want to go there yet. I want to slash and bash. Yay! Uh, Don't worry, there's a whole lot of slashing and bashing ahead of you. Oh, but still, uh, I I do need to go here. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yeah. On the left. Oh, there we go. Oh no, this poor innocent villagers. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, and yeah, you can zoom in a little bit if you want. Ah, all right. There we go. So you don't, you so that you're not so far away. Oh yeah, and for for a big difference the, compared to the first Guild of Wars. This one you can at least jump by. Oh. Space. 
All right, there we go. Yeah. Oh, come back here, you. Huh. That person is not doing anything. Never mind, friend. I shall help you. <laughs> this is going to take a while, isn't it? Go to the... Oh. Oh, You're no. not in the open world just yet. Ah, I see. Okay, I'll just go to the inn. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thackeray's calling for reinforcements at the garrison. If he's calling for help, it must be serious. But I can't spare anyone. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar, <coughs> bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, okay. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry. I I need to get used to the fighting engine. Clicking doesn't work. Yeah. But you use the keyboard for attack, more or less. Okay, now we need to go up that ro uh, down that road. Just Here. follow the sign. Sh should I help or... Uh, I'll just... Uh, ig ignore this for now. Yeah! Jumping! Mm. Oh, that destroyed the frame rate, I think. Cross the bridge to the garrison. Oh, no! Oh, I can click on them. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there. Mm. <coughs> what are these two? Oh. oh, this uh, this is a notification for the expansions if you want to buy them. Ah, alright. So, uh, click it and uh, then close it. Ah, alright. Never mind, I'll just CVP. So, these are other players, right? Or no? Yeah, the ones that have uh, two names above and those are the players. Ah. So, so yeah, uh, attack the centers because right now you're in an event. And when you complete an event, you get a uh, lot of experience. See the orange uh, text over there on the top left, uh, right. Yeah, don't charge into them, wait for them to come to Oh, alright. Yeah, that would be much smarter. What kind of people runs in the thick of battle? Oh, true. Enough of this. Okay, there is. You think you can defeat me? Wait, I want to get a hit so I can get XP! <laughs> After him! Oh, really? Uh, help defend the garrison, attackers... Oh, okay. Oh, no! He summoned a nurse elemental. We're level one! We're gonna die! Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the, she's calling for that one all the time, and you can hear it from the other side of the map. <laughs> It's basically, this is basically a small preview for uh, when you have to deal with the war bosses. Oh no. How am I supposed to get in there? I don't have anything. I'm just, I'm just getting the melee range. Ignore him. You're oh. gonna take too long to resurrect him. Besides, that's an NPC. Oh, there's cooldowns. Well, that's probably the uh, thing it's interrupted you. Get to the other one. Okay, now you have it selected. You weren't selecting the turn again.
Where am I? What happened? You were injured when the elemental exploded. Captain Thackeray brought you here personally. You've been unconscious for three days. You had lots of visitors. Villagers you rescued, <laughs> some Seraph, and a nervous, shady-looking character who came by every day, but wouldn't give his name. That'd be my friend Quinn. You might want to check your supply cabinets. I'll find out what he wanted once I'm fully recovered. What should I do now? Fresh air and exercise are the best medicine. The goddess Duena helped you. Perhaps you could help others? Thanks, I will. And thanks for taking such good care of me. Bless you. You'll find plenty to do out in the valley. May Duena protect you. Okay, now in the game proper. Cool. Yeah. Uh, defending him. Okay. I'm so good it hurts. And you'll be able to. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Uh, okay, uh, now click those uh, things that are over on the. above the mini map. Okay. No, no. Mm. no, no. Mm. Ooh. And this. Okay, and this is. Yeah, this is to show you that you leveled up and what you get. And this is what's to come next. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, you get a new dagger in your inventory, if I recall. Uh, so inventory per side? I. Okay. Tell dagger. Need to sharpen that thing. Inventory. I just have the tell dagger. Yeah. Oh, tell knife. Equip it. Equip. Ah, I think I can sell the tell dagger. Right. Yeah. Okay, now uh, hold on. Let me just do this. Uh, press uh, Z. Uh, that's nothing for me. Nothing? Uh, hold on, then uh, go on the top left and you got those icons. Mail. I got mail. Thank you. Take all, I guess. Okay. Uh, go to the second on the left. Contact. Contact. Okay. Okay, let me just check. Norman, Norman Sanzo. Space Sanzo. Dot fourteen twenty. Oh no, I read this. <clears throat> so uh, while you try to find me, um, I, I'll just tell the audience at home how I feel. Um, honestly, the game feels. Fun, but it's I, I have trouble with the combat because uh, if you're a person that likes MMOs, this is perfect for you. But I find this very odd. All right. Uh, Sorry. Go to the ad then. Uh, type in J Shadow. That eight. Turn seven. J. Shadow, one word? Yeah, yeah. And then? That, uh, that, uh, eight, three, seven, nine. Eight, three, seven, nine. And click the plus. Is that you? Uh, yeah, that's me. Okay. Run. Hey, much of the party. <clears throat> okay. Um. I. I guess I'll close this then. And how do I accept the party? Um, oh yeah, double that. Accept. And there we go. Hello. Hello. King of yeah. the Horns. Oh, you. You drop on levels just to. No, not really. Well, actually, on this one, I'm uh, level 29, but since I went into the lower zone, my uh, level dropped for it. Ah, uh, alright. Okay, okay. So, now, what do we do? What do we do? First things first. I imagine. To the guild. Oh, cool. Uh, open guild panel? <laughs> <laughs> this guild is like 10 years old, I think. And only... <laughs> Two out of five. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, another one's playing playing right now. 
All right. So just join. Yeah, just join. All right, then. <coughs> and okay, uh, click. Uh, hold on. Uh, you can't activate it yet. Go back to the guild panel. Uh, it's the shield over there on the top. Yes. Yeah. And uh, check uh, by the name. The name. Uh, where the name is in uh, check it. Oh. Up, uh, on there. There we go. Now we're officially a member of my support friends. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now let's get to work. So uh, here's what you dis uh, what you figure out what you got to do. Talk to this guy and he's going to get you on the way. The scout. The fields beyond Shamor are Krita's breadbasket. Since the centaur attack. Citizens are trying to rebuild their lives. But it's tough with bandits and dangerous wildlife roaming the area. Don't wait for an invitation. Jump in and help them. So basically just defend those spots. All right. Well, not so much defend. Uh, assist with your... whatever people are asking. All right. Cool, cool. So, this oh. is a waypoint. Waypoints appear on your compass, which is in the lower right corner of your screen. You can also see them on the world map, which you can access by pressing M. Press M again to close the world map. To teleport to a waypoint, open your world map and click on the waypoint to which you want to travel. Alright, alright. These are basically your fast travel points. Travel back and forth, but you need to pay for it. You know, oh, no. Ooh, why is my... why... Mm. What is it? No, my, my, my character doesn't want to move but because that was left click instead of right click all right <laughs> what what suddenly i got xp yeah basically you get experience for everything for discovery for doing things for killing mobs doing all events right. everything all right even crafting sweet all right so, so now you got this little heart up on the top right corner of your screen help die attend the farm Basically, you need to help around the farm here. So let's see what do we got. Stomp out the worms. Entertain the cattle. Defend the fields. Okay. So if you see the mounts, flatten them. Ah, okay. And here's the worm. <laughs> did, you, did you get anything? Uh, ah, okay. No, no. Okay, so... Hold on. There's another one. Okay. One more thing for my list of accomplishments. <laughs> what do you get? Um, Just looting me. enemies. Ah, okay. Oh, but we're mount. Oh, let's tighten it up. Oh yeah, and entertain the cows. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's a thing too. Oh, okay. Yeah, here it is. Flat mm. the, what? <laughs> Enter <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. for the cows, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> like I, I guess. <laughs> huh. Okay, um, simple enough, I guess. Yeah. Oh, come. So, do we need to do this until we just level up? Well, well you do this until you fill up the bar over there on the top uh, right. Ah, the one, that one. The one you get, you get uh, more experience and you can move on. Ah, so we just need to get, get this done with. Just do things. Just right. do things. <laughs> There's one more crowd to entertain. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call baby. Woo! <laughs> oh, okay, Carl remembers. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> Carl remembers me. <laughs> <laughs> this game is weird. 
What class? What are you playing, by the way? What? Uh, what, what are you playing, recent class? Uh, well, I'm also a human and I'm an elementalist. Ah, cool. So I'm basically a mage, but I use... Uh, oh no, what am I even using at this point? I forget. Uh, oh yeah, I'm using daggers to fight. Oh. One more thing for my list of Here's the thing. You your abilities are determined based on what weapons you use, not just your class. Oh, okay. By the way, um I think I've done that. Oh yeah, you got a hundred percent. And you got oh yeah, and you leveled up as well. You click over those things over your minimap. Oh okay. yeah, go up and you got a new bag to equip. Oh, leather bag. Stuff I guess. Right. And each time you complete the heart, you can go over here, follow me. Yeah, second I'm just trying this. So I can equip the leather bag or Yeah, yeah, equip it. You got uh, an empty slot over there. Ah, okay, there we go. Right. And each time you complete the heart to a hundred percent, you can go over here to this uh cat over here and talk to her. And for the karma that you get, uh, you nowadays, can uh, buy uh, some additional things. Ah, huh? okay, so let's see. Uh, hello there, thanks for your help. You, without you, I don't know what we've done. Uh, and you know, uh, all this uh, work. So, uh, should I just ask for stuff or just say you're very welcome? Because I'm leaning more to that. Just pick the first one. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you bet. Here, thank you. take a look at this. Thanks. Oh, cool. Oh, we can buy this? Karma's the, yeah, karma is the currency that you can uh, gain by basically doing whatever the events. If you do the hearts here, then you buy uh, little, little uh, rewards like this. Ah, okay. So, what do you recommend? Worm tooth, loaf of bread, Tiny sharpening stone or tasty cake? Well, let's say um, let's say you want more health, so you can take this. And double two. Experience. Oh, that's cool. Well, or you can take this. Uh, enhance power gain. Oh. Mm. Oh, everything has. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I'm guessing my class doesn't really need vitality as long as I can hit hard. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Uh, but it's not necessary to buy it if you want to save karma for something ah. better later than blind. Okay, I'll save it for later then. Alright. Hold on, let me just, just need to do uh, one more thing. I didn't see that. There we go. All right. Now let's see where can we go next. Uh, oh yeah, let's go north. Another thing that we got here are the jumping puzzles. Oh, there's okay, jumping nice. puzzles. Okay. Yeah. See that uh, two triangle, red triangles up on the far north. If you open the map. M. Okay. Triangles. Oh, those. Yeah, uh, that's a vista. Basically, that's a viewpoint that you... Well, basically, you get a short cinematic on what the surroundings look like and you get uh, experience. Alright. Yeah. Check the traps for hostile creatures, break drake eggs and kill drakes in drakes and scale the river. Okay, cool. So we just kill the river? Oh, go hostile. Crawfish traps. Oh no! Ow. Nothing, nothing. 
Yeah, because we're two, we can basically each uh, do one at a time. So even if uh, you did it, you can still uh, have it count for what I did. If you ah. can hit them for uh, the end. Yeah. So we still have more crawfish traps here. Oh yeah, we back. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, dead, I guess. Dead? Like oh, there some... it is. There it is. Oh, it's, oh, we spawn. Oh, somebody. Yeah, it was a delay spawn. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, spawn two. That's... Yeah, that one's fine. Oh, okay. there we go. Oh, okay. you need to do one more. Almost mm. done. Uh... Crawfish. God smile on me. Alright. There we go. More experience and more karma and more money. Alright, so we should go to the guy with the heart and uh, send in check our... If you... Yeah, check if you need anything. Yeah, yeah. Hello there. Hello, person. Uh, where's your wares? Let's see. Uh, healing power. Eh, nothing much. I'll just save it for later. Until next time. Okay. So we'll go to the top there now. Oh, uh, you you leveled up again. Oh, cool. Again. Oh, you got another. Uh, uh, now you got three weapon skills. Three weapon skills? Uh, what's that? Oh, that one. That's it. Uh, yeah. Twisting Fang. Uh, okay. So we go up the hill. Plug leaks on cover. And the little mate turns all the mantles. Plug it. Hmm. Mm. All right. So the game. Oh, okay. We can have metal. Game feels well. I guess it's an MMO, so it's going to be tedious. But it, it feels like you know, like relaxing in some shape or form. Yeah, it is. This isn't like you have to hurry up to somewhere. The comic also doesn't feel like I don't know. I, I don't know how to put it so in a way. It's not a stress. Like in WoW, when you have to make sure that you don't die from just about everything. <laughs> but I do, I do guess this is the earlier levels and whatnot, so things seem to be pretty simple and so on. Easy enough. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, that one uh, was mine. Is another one. Oh, an event started. Oh, how how can you tell where? Well, uh, you see that orange thing that just popped up. Ah, on the uh, right side. Harpy flock from. Oh, cool. So should Kill we the go? Harpies. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the harpies. Oh no, the Yu-Gi-Oh card is. Damn you, Harpy Lady. Nobody likes you. <laughs> You're not even wearing a bondage gear. <laughs> Your card sucks. It's not even in the meta anymore. Your brother's a better card than you. And he's not even in the meta. <laughs> uh, oh? I think there's more below. Okay, um, alright, let's go. Is there fall damage in this game? 
Yes, it is. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah, and there's also you got the ability to dodge attacks. Uh, how do I do that? Well, either you quickly press in one direction in quick succession, or you press you when you move. Uh, not getting it. T and tap in one direction quickly. Oh, that person has a pistol. Oh well, yeah, this one's a mess with the gun. We'll never finish with all these interruptions. Uh, almost done. Well, where's another one? This one oh, there is. There we go. Oh, there! Yay! Uh, I've done stuff. Yeah. You get a lot of stuff for doing just about everything. Alright, now let's get up to that twister over there. Ah. Oh, you're, le you're level 5 already. Wow. That was fast. Up here. Oh, sorry, the young harp is attacking me. Uh, should I attack it first? Uh, if, it's the if it's got the yellow name, then uh, it's uh, neutral. Oh. It's not gonna attack unless you attack it first. Ah, alright. Oh no! My character, it has fallen. Up. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, this is already a jumping puzzle, so you oh. need to be careful. Okay, so there's jumping puzzles. Alrighty yes. then. So this is the one that you're talking about? Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Why, why is my character not stopping? Well, here. Go to the end of here and jump over to that... Uh, the, the big one, yeah. Okay. Yay! Here. And then. This is teaching us stuff. Yes, it is. Like, there's jumping puzzles, bitch. <laughs> uh, get ready. But trust me, the the ones at the Cairo are so 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 long and complicated. <laughs> yeah, uh, that taught me that there's fall damage. Have fun. Yes. <laughs> okay, so oh me... yeah, you've got uh, more things to uh, click over there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. There's more money and new level, new profession skill. <clears throat> okay, now we go... Yeah, we're gonna have to drop. Oh no! Damage. It's minimal. Okay, we go to the farm over here. Oh yeah, there's also underwater combat. Oh god damn it! <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, but you don't have an underwater weapon, so yeah, stay um, out for now. Is there mm. any breath thing going on? No, no. You got the yeah. You got the mask. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so it's not like oh, I'm dying. Ah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, we didn't Let's submit see. our request thing for the other person, or is it automatically done? Uh, no, we, we finished it. Look, uh, open your open your map. Ah. See all the completed, the ones that have full hearts. Uh, These are the completed ones. Let's see, Squid spiders and XX. Drive the best for the orchards at night. Ah, uh, alright, so let's squish them. Then do we fight them? Yes, we do! There we go. Ah, here we go. So, are we sharing HP now? Oh, sorry, not HP, but uh, XP? Well, uh, I'm, I'm not so much sharing, well, uh, Oh, you mean if I kill it and you touch it, that you get XP? Yeah, or are we working together? Like, um, you kill, I get some... Yeah, but... Well, we're both getting the same amount of XP. Ah, alright. Hold on, here's another one. Oh. Can I equip another weapon to my character? Do you have another weapon? Uh, I have the other dagger with me, um, so let's see. Uh, hold on. Open, uh, press H. H. Alright. Equipment. Equipment. 
Oh, oh you no. not you don't have it unlocked that you need to wait until next level. Yeah, I need to go to level six. Okay, cool. Oh there we go. And yeah, done done. Let's go for this one. Yay! Ooh! What is it? I got a sword! Oh, goody! From a spider! Makes you question. It was, it was probably Shilop. <laughs> uh, makes you question what the hell was in a spider? Oh! Or just spider! Well, yeah, it's an orchard. Alright, there we go. I can see why um, some people. The, uh, like saying, um, I can see why people buy the gaming mouse that has numbers on the side. Gaming mouse? Yeah, um, gaming mouse from Reason and whatnot. They, they have the. Oh, yeah. The numerical numbers and whatnot. So we oh, use the. I got the. I got one for Razor, but I don't really have the numbers on it. Ah. So, what do we do now? Oh, this is where you, we test your uh, dodging ability. <sighs> okay, um, how, how, how do I do that? But V! Oh, V is for dodge. Yeah, but you have a limited... Uh, what do you call it? Bar. So it takes a little bit to recharge uh, before you can do it again. See, th see this uh, red circle? Mm -hmm. We need to evade, evade through it. I mean, dodge through it. So get close and then uh, press V. Oh. Okay. Otherwise, this happens. That's strange. One more thing for my list of accomplishments. <laughs> oh, I need to go into. Damn it. Yes, you get to get to the chest. There we go. Ooh, and you're level 6 at last. Yay! Okay, uh, we got a lot of things to click again. Okay. There you go. Now you get uh, an offhand weapon or a uh, ranged weapon to use. Mighty pistol, curse of. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. you, the arrow. You put a pistol. Sorry? You put a pistol in the offhand if you want. What do you recommend? Well, well, since you're mostly me, I suggest just take the pistol. Unless you want a little range. I'll take the pistol, no problem. Alright. Okay, then... This... Learn dodging, yay! Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I do get down to the circle first. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> yeah. You've seen that one coming. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. okay the, open your inventory. I even thought. So, oh, I see you got a lot of things. Uh, others as well. <coughs> okay. Uh, first, let's open those crates that you have. I have crates. Uh, these. Uh, what they are? They are called. Yeah. You mean this one? This thing? Yeah, this. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, open these things. Use. Yes. Oh. Uh, Ragamuffin. Oh, I have to pick one. Duty bomb, yeah. Climber. Obsessed hood. Ragamuffin. If it. Does it have any stats on? No, it doesn't tell me anything. Okay, uh, right click on it. Preview. Preview. Basically, see, Oh, uh. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a heavy one. Yeah, this is a, this is a heavy one. Uh, you're, uh, you got the uh, leather, leather, so you need to pick that one. So it's best to do this one. Mm, so uh, okay, so I need to be taking stuff that I can use. So yeah. Yeah, since you're a thief, uh, you're using uh, medium armor. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the ragamuffin then because it seems like uh, there's a set thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It Oh, I have two. Does this give me anything? 
Ooh. Yep. Huh. Well, if you're ever gonna play on another character, you can just take something else and it's gonna save you the uh, transport. Ah, okay, cool. So, um, heavy, fine. Fine, light, hard armor. Huh. You know, I, I, I'll take the duty bound bracers for when I want to build a heavy character. Okay, uh, leggings. Regular muffin slack. So okay, we got this open. Now since uh, these don't have any stats, it means you have to uh, hold on, open again. So... Oh, or you have then. Uh, right click on it. Equip. And co no, customize first. Oh no, uh, customize. Customize. Yeah. And now you select which stats you want to put on this. <laughs> Toughness is armor, uh, vitality is health, power is uh, damage. For us, for us the T uh, is critical strike damage, I think, and precision is critical strike. Hmm. Condition damage is uh, damage over time. Keep excuse me. <laughs> so Were you considering that your uh, thief, I think, uh, power and precision should be better. Power and precision. So power and precision hunters. So I'll just click this and accept. Uh, okay, click, click, accept. Yeah. And then and now you can equip it now. Equip. And with the regular muffin slack, same thing. Customize. Yeah. So hunters then, power precision. Yeah. Yeah. Equip. Yeah. Customize, Hunters, Power Precision, Accept, and Equip. Oh, I got my t stud no, my t stud boot. Equip them. Pistol, I can equip, ooh. Does the pistol, does anything at close range, or should I just go for double-handed weapons? Well, that's entirely up to you, because different weapons give you different abilities to use. Ah, okay, so... Pierce... Equip. And it also depends on which uh, weapon you're carrying where. Ah. So, if you, if you put the pistol in your main hand, it's gonna, you're gonna have different abilities. Oh, really? No. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, and also I can switch to a sub... You know what, I'm just gonna equip stuff to this one because I can save space. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. 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 Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, this one's much better. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah. Also, I think you still got a dagger that you didn't equip. Oh, or yeah. Did, uh, still wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean the good dagger. Go back to one. But I'm using the sword. Oh, right, right. Well, never mind them. Yeah. Equip and equip offhand. Alright. <clears throat> so. Okay, uh, open the uh, uh, eye just uh, one more time. Let me just see what you can get. Uh, wait, was it the uh, second thing in the in the backpack? Mini mystical tracker. Oh, uh. Oh yeah, it's a uh, pet that you get. Uh, oh. Use it. Okay. Um. Double click. Uh, right click. Yes. The uh, account portal. Uh, I guess here it is. Yeah, my pet. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you add it to the account? Uh, I guess. Yeah, it's account bound, sis. No, no, I mean uh, press uh, press right, right click, and uh, add to account portal. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. As for the rest of these, uh, most of these are reagents and some of it is trash. It's gonna clutter your uh, back. So what you do, see those uh, three icons on the right side of the inventory. This one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, po and the deposit material to that. 
Oh, okay. So this goes to my box. Yeah. This goes to your pr uh, private stash so that you don't have to carry the materials for uh, crafting all over the place. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. All right. I got rifle. Cool. Yeah, but can you use it? Ah, no, I can't. Yeah. So, help says around the moon reach. Okay. Uh, it's to the south? Yes. Uh, yeah, we need to get this... Uh, What's what you call it? Uh, point of interest. There we go. And we got more experience. Yay. Help for our wrench. Search the bushes for more skilled bandits. Recover fruit from bandit and cavern. There we go. Mm, let's the check the bushes. I wonder. Oh no, there's a bandit in the bushes. <laughs> a bandit captured? There's another one. There's another one. What the? That that is just so... Oh boy, okay. He's big. Is he the uh, Nord? Yeah, he's the Nord. Okay. Bandit captures. Don't capture the bandits. You slaughtered into the man. Search the bushes. Oh no! Ah, uh, it's just a mower. Let's oh, see okay. What I there it is. There's another bush. Oh, this guy's got a hippogriff. Cool. Or no, it's a griffin. Sorry, person. That looks valuable. Ooh, another one. Bandit rifleman. See, this is one. I can see uh, people just farming this just to get the quest over. Uh, true. Yes. Hey! Oh! But you, you have to wonder, right? Like, oh, uh, there's bandits in the bushes, but why are they in the bushes? Like, what what, what did they do? Like, why, why are they hiding in the bushes in the day? Like, isn't that strange? I wouldn't know. <laughs> That's very sus. Oh no. Hold on. See the news. If I spawn one. Hey, yes. Ooh. I did the stuff. You did the stuff? Yeah, I, I, I pressed 3. Um, pistol whip. Oh, cool. Ah, okay. Let's see. Here's another one. Let's, let's go to the caverns. Oh, cool. The caverns. Oh, we do not load in. We just go in. Cool. Yeah. Get over here and help me. Ah! Yay. Not today. This is fun. Wow. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Stolen feet. Okay, let, let's recover them. Oh no! Oh, we're at 100%. Hold on, there's something to explore here. Alright, I'm just, just gonna follow you. Uh, uh, I think you go up here. Oh, there's, there's people here, I'm just gonna kill them off. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to go to uh, the outside. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Let's go back. There's a vista inside. Alright. Could you just imagine this band is looking at us and like, Oh no, there's bad guys. No, there's enemies coming for us. Oh, we must do something. And they're going past them. <laughs> Over here. Oh. Oh, 
Oh no. Should be yeah, true here. I see a chest? I can't get a chest. Where? Ooh, 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 ooh. There's an event. Why did you say the chest was? Uh, it was just a um, normal in game chest, nothing. Uh, oh, okay. Chief Bats. Here. Oh no, Lieutenant Bandit. Okay, here cool. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, interesting. Like what is? Uh, my character has the ability to um, teleport back. Improvised bomb. I can buy that. Should I buy it? I mean, if you're gonna need it. Oh, but also you can sell junk at him. Okay, cool. Um, you. I, I sell I my junk to you. What is junk? Sell oh. junk. Spider legs and stuff. Press the sell junk. Everything's oh. gonna automatically sell everything. That's great. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. That's very good and convenient. Okay. Wow. Okay. And oh, the body is sparkly. I shall loot it. Yeah, that's a sign that you need to loot it. <laughs> of course, when you get a higher level and you un unlock a few things, you'll be able to get the auto loot ability. Nice. I mean, it's not as convenient as in WoW when oh. you can just select uh, auto loot uh, from the start, but. It is what it is. True, but still, the game is quote unquote free and it's pretty entertaining. That's good to hear. Oh no! Sorry, sorry about my bad breath. <laughs> oh, that's cool. My character can teleport. Yeah. Which ability are you using? Number two, um, it's called Infiltration Returns. Oh yeah, uh, you press it one to teleport and you press it again to teleport back to the place you were before. Mm. This is, right? Where are we going? Uh, out here. I think so? Oh, stairs. Yeah. Hello, what's the bandit hideout doing uh, leading to this farmhouse? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> There's a point of interest over here. Oh. It's just armor. So I have a timer that I need to... Oh, okay, so that, that worked. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, you, you got some uh, new things over there, I see. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go. Rewards, accept. Uh, what's this? Gold, accept. Pharma. Alright, let's see. We go down here. Let's see what we got. It's a point of interest over there on the... Oh yeah, and there's a vista as well. I'm gonna have to climb. Oh, that's gonna be fun. 
Oh, events in progress. Oh wow, there's always an event. That's cool. Yeah, it's a living world. So if the parts where if you fail to complete the event or succeed, it's gonna either progress or regress, and some things are gonna happen. All right. This this becomes especially evident uh, in uh, later areas like uh, the last one. But in order to progress to some uh, some point uh, to get some special rewards, you need to do multiple events in succession. So where's the event? Well, it's here. Well, basically, we have to prevent the bandits from uh, breaking the pipes. Oh, yeah, get up here so you can get the point of interest. And uh, for the vista. Oop, oh, I almost fell down. <laughs> there we go. Wow. The place looks awesome, and that place is burning. Yeah, the man's already reached that one. Where are the bandits even coming from? Unless somebody's already blocking their path somewhere further down the line. Just check. Oh, no, here they are. Alright. Coming at you. Let's go. There we go. But I'm not sure. I think it's gonna blow any moment now. Really? Oh no. Does it look like it's going to be blowing? Down there? No, let's just wait. Two water pipes remaining. Okay, maybe it won't blow up. Which case, good. Let's just check. Oh yeah, here they come more. That coming from down here. I see. Okay. There's a lot of bandits there. Yeah, but well, you have to wait for those that come up up the road here. Ah, here comes another one. Ah! Missed that one. Oh yeah, and another thing. Uh. It's some, sometimes we can basically combo uh, abilities with one another. Ah, that, that sounds... Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, basically when I put this down, and as long as you use abilities in here, like ranged or whatever, you can uh, power up your own abilities as well. Oh, cool. But that depends whether or not uh, those abilities have those things. Let me just check. Uh, Mouse over your abilities. Oh, you're new level. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, number one doesn't do anything. Reflection strike. Doesn't really do much. Nothing. Yeah. Pistol whip. Okay, this one either. What about four? Here we go. It's exploding time. Yeah, what was four? Four is his shot. Ah, there we go, combo, fi combo finisher. Oh, really? Oh, combo finisher, precision projectile. Basically, when you use this in uh, that field I put up, it's gonna do more damage. You got a new level, and I see you got something else. Reward speed boots, nice. Hey, and you've got some other things as well, if you're, if I recall. Mm. Uh, quickly open your uh, inventory for these guys. Come. Let's see. You've got that uh, or um, yellow thing, that orange thing, the purple thing. Leave that. Here we go. It's exploding time. 
Oh god damn it. I need to know you still. Okay, let's do this again. Hi. Let's see. We got the torrent thing for the speed boost. We got the yellow thing for whatever that is. And dependent question. That's going to be bad. What? Uh, the bomb is here, and we can't. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it didn't leak like last time. Anyway, uh, press I and quick uh, hover over the purple one. Purple one? This one? Yeah. Bonus karma. Oh, you know what? Use this. Use one. Okay. Now you uh, you gain extra karma for the duration. Out of range, oh no. Just a little bit and we're done. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Bomb carrier. Oh, he's running away. Time to get constant. I am not used to the uh, numbers being on top. Like just to activate skills, it's very annoying. <laughs> You want to use a using neck? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, what's this? It's my ability. I can stand the right. For people to use. Oh, damn it. Here we go. It's exploding time. I got I a can toss an axe at people. Oh, cool. <laughs> Lava axe. Is this yours? Yeah. Oh. This is the Conjure Flame Axe ability. Wow. And make... there we go. We got someone watching our back. Cool. Now we need to defend the workers so they can repair this pipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quest pipe. This one. Hey, leave them alone. You're getting the hand of this. Yeah, kind of slowly. The controls feels just nice. Yeah, it does. And there we go. Event over. Okay, so. See. I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, hold on. Let's uh, let's just check something over here. Cause I think we haven't searched. Oh no, never mind. Let's uh, let's ignore that one for now. 
let's continue over there to uh, Sher Shaymore Garrison. Shaymore it's over there. It's the place where you were over there, the starting area, uh -huh. the uh, outpost over there. All right. You can see in the distance. Is there any way to talk to a person to sell stuff? Because I kind of want to sell stuff right now. Let's see. I don't see any merchants around here. Yeah, there's uh, there's an uh, there's uh, the garrison over there. All right. Let's go to the garrison. Let me just check if I get a speed boost. Oh yeah. Uh, hold on. Eh, no, I don't need to myself. <laughs> it's okay. Oh no! Bandit scouts. I ain't got nothing to report for yet. <laughs> okay. Eat my dust. There we go. I achieve things. I'm an achiever. I'm giving you speed boost. Uh, oh no! Centaurs. Oh no, a centaur killed my sister. No, that, that was a different backstory. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we can pick this up. Mm -hmm. Hero points. Basically, hero points are used to unlock new abilities that uh, you can use later. That's it. Hold on. I'll come back later. Oh yeah. Mm. I have to save that one later. Ah, uh, there's no sprinting. And I see why you want to get mounts, because they make you go faster. But I also got this so we can both run faster. Yay! Ooh! There's still Hold on. Down in that armor. Oh yeah, this one starts an event, but don't trigger it yet. Here's a merchant, so it's the junk. Hello merchant. I have stuff. I'm gonna sell stuff to you. Oof. Okay. He didn't sell that much stuff. <laughs> uh, double click to open. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, it got also... Okay, first uh, deposit the material. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got one more bag that you can equip, I see. The red one. Give me a second, just... Uh, there's a lot of... I have four bags of stuff. I'm just gonna open them all and then deposit. Okay, which one you want me to... This one? The, the red one. Red, red bag. One. Big bag, okay. Red leather yeah. bag. Five slots. Oh, uh, equip. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so you got another another bag to open down uh, the, uh, at the bottom. This one, tiny. Uh, yeah. Open it. Press start. Alright. Okay. Now open those, uh, these two. Uh, yeah. Regular muffin cake. Customize or preview? Customize. Customize. We were going hunter, right? Yeah. Go. That's it. Let's go for this one. Make a muffin. Two shoes. Yes. Uh, customize. Hunter. Accept. And equip. Okay. Uh, hmm? One more. Another one? Yeah, lucky huh. me. Did yeah, you um... yeah, it might be Alright, so uh, let's go for that thing that I was doing before. Um, no, not inventory, but... Oh, wow! He's looking good! Yep. You can sell stuff that you're not gonna use. Ah, uh, could, could I... S hmm, I don't think I can arrange. Leather vest. Okay. 
Oh, so you don't have gloves on this one yet. Uh, this is the second one. Yeah, but this, you still don't have gloves. I think you forgot to equip them. Mighty... Oh, oh that's... <clears throat> okay. Uh, there they are. I think you equipped it... Uh... I think I think you can the those just be alone. Oh no, you got the number two no, no. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. the wrong one. But anyway, you can sell the the things you're not gonna use to the vendor. Oh, I can uh, hide them. Hi. Oh, okay, cool. That's for yeah. Sorry. Um, just just looking at stuff. Oh, I can do a pure pistol build. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's too. Do, do you have enjoy this better pistol than what you get now? Um, taking a look, see, because uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go for pistol or sword. What, what do you think? What's your recommendation? Uh, honestly, I, when I play Pip and you use pistols, I get a special special and specialization to use them. So I'm not sure how much uh, it's going to be worth to you, but uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's let's try and see. Cause okay, let's go for pistol. Uh, vital pistol. This one is weapon strength. Do do do. Mm, mighty pistol. Wow. Two mighty pistols at different strength level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pistol. Mm, this one's better. This one. All right. And offhand, let's go for vital pistol. Oh, um, I think the one that's a hundred then seventy one is better. You said? Yeah. Okay, gone. No All right. So I should I sell the rest or? Yeah, might as well. Oh, why, why do they highlight this one, like, to compare? Like, is this much yeah, better? To compare the stats. To compare the stats. Okay, yeah, I'm just looking at it, and yeah, the, the, those, those are not that great. Okay, so let's sell, let's sell to Terra the Merchant. Hello, Terra the Merchant. What brings you here? I'm gonna sell stuff to you. I'm gonna sell my pistols. Before you before you just uh, right click on one of those things and make sure that you unlock the the skin. Oh, uh, I got. How do I do that? Well, if it's uh, grayed out, it means you haven't unlocked. And right click on them. So there it is. Uh, no problem. Uh, go into the inventory first. Okay. Inventory. Right click. Yeah, you already have it. Ones that are grayed out, those unloaded ones you haven't unlocked yet. Ah, okay. So, yeah, this one. Unlock skin. Okay, cool. This one. Unlock skin. Unlock skin. Skin, oh, okay. Skin. Um, look. We did this one, and okay, done, I think. Alright. Now I can sell them. Sell the pistols. We have two mighty pistol and vital iron pistol. Oh, we, oh, we don't do that. So how do we sell it? Just right click or press the sell button? Yeah, just double click it. Oh, some of the two the event. So quick. Oh no. <laughs> Until next time. Everyone to your post. Um, okay. What do we do? I'm so confused. Let's see. Uh, we need to defeat the central waves. Here they come. Turn your weapons on the courtyard. Oh wow. Oh wow.
Just make sure that you don't spell certain abilities because you can see that uh, your uh, you need certain uh, what do you call it uh, initiative to use them. See those uh, squares, uh, white ones that are above uh, above your action bar. This one. The white squares. Oh, this uh, one. The, yeah. Basically, when you use the abilities uh, that cause them, you need to make sure that you don't uh, overuse it. Ah. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Hold the garrison! Push them back! There's some just fighting them outside. God damn it. Back. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Ah, I see. Ah. Yeah, the, the initiative thing. Yeah. Okay, get it, get it. Ah. Oh, and you know that one already. And now we got the water gear. Yay, what can I do with it? <laughs> Equip it. So what the harpoon? Well Just a quick few people is gonna put it in a specific sure slot. Okay, let's see what let's see where that goes. And you forgot you forgot to add the mask. Ah there we go. It's in yeah. the Cool. Put the mask on as well. Oh there's a mask? Yeah. Equip. There we go. Oh, and uh, use this uh, karma bottle that you got as a reward. Oh! Uh, there we go. Yay! Um, she's not happy with us. Kill Sento, destroy Sento, siege, weapon, help. There's more? Oh, you didn't get it uh, in the event. Okay. Uh, let's read this event then. We're gonna get it on the way. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's see, let's see. Just need to kill more, I guess. Yeah. Just wait for the, the guard to go by. Hmm. Oh yeah, also what you can do is resurrect the uh, NPCs here. thing for my list of accomplishments. There we go. Yay! Done. Now we got the event. Huh. Oh, we, we need to defend this person? Yeah. Okay, that's fun. That, that is fun. Once once you get 
Once you get used to it, it's uh, really good. That gear better be in good shape. I think I'm in it. Plus five. Uh, centaurs ahead. And of course, they're right where we want to go. Ooh. That's the last of them. Why don't you keep watch and I'll poke around the room. See what I can find. Oh, I can shoot and walk. Cool. Sarah, thank you. Well, yes. Why well, shouldn't you? <laughs> that, that is a good <laughs> statement. <laughs> you, you know? So some games don't now let you take them back to the Stay alert. Okay. Okay. I think this part is done. And we can go over there. Oh, you're level nine. Good. Wow, I, I just started and we what started two hours ago? Less probably. Well, of the technically an hour ago because we were uh, discussing and the creation. Yeah. Yeah. Still not bad. Like uh, an yeah. hour, you can already reach uh, near ten. And honestly speaking, the game is fun. Like I, I'm not having any. Uh, sorry, I, I'm not feeling bored or anything. Uh, my only issue is the weapon skills that I don't like the position. Mm. What do you mean? Like um, the numbers one, two, three, and four. Like I, I would have much rather be at a, another location, probably no. a, ASWD or something like that. But then um, the yeah, random then how we gonna move? Yeah, <laughs> but but you get you get what I mean. Yeah. No. Talk to him. Yeah. This area He's supplies a lot of materials for divinity's reach and Beetleton alike. Oh. There are many threats to the workers, and any damage to them or their livelihoods could impact the entire oh, region. Quest. We could use some help to keep things running smoothly. <clears throat> oh, cool. Once you reach, uh, uh, reach level 10, it's gonna unlock your, uh, per, uh, the first part of your personal story. Ah. Oh, uh, you also got a few new things. See? Oh, now you got the uh, tools for the gathering material, for gathering the material. Ah. You can equip them. Uh, oh, I can't equip them. X for the wood. Sickle for uh, plants and pickaxe for the uh, for the ore. Okay. And here, and here's one. Ah, uh, so this is teaching us that we can do this. Yeah. More so you go to it, and then you. Each note hits a, uh, takes about three strikes. And each time it strikes, it's gonna take one durability out of your uh, gathering tool. Open H, and you're gonna see. Sorry, H. Alright. H. See you at uh, the bottom uh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So each time we strike, or each time we strike a. or we lose one. Yes. And uh, each or takes about three strikes to mine. Unless, of course, it's a rich one, in which case it's gonna take uh, nine strikes. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So every now and then, when you when you're uh, gathering uh, gets broken, you need to go buy a new one. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, so what do we got? Kill the screed wasps. Gather wooden planks. Destroy wasp nests. Okay. Um... So let's see. Uh, somewhere here in the forest. Either that or we just go into the cave where the script are and dispose of them. Okay, cool. We can do that too. Mm -hmm. Should be to here if I recall. Using weak points. I can think. Ah, top of. That is not the word. Yes! Oh, Rats. Wow. Rats! 
that can talk. They like shiny things. Ah, I see. Here. I think I didn't topple the first one in front. Yeah, possible. Alright, see. Ah. Oh. Ah. Is that a monster? Where? It's a net. Should we attack it? Oh no, Wops! Merchant? Melandru lives in all life. No. Uh, why are the bees attacking? They're not attacking you. Fascinating. Very well. Oh, and here's what to chop. Ah, okay. Oh, there are the wasps. Oh no, they're attacking that poor deer. Oh no! And you shot a deer. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm having vision sin for tonight. <laughs> There's the damn wasp. Oh, there's a few wasps, okay. Yes. There's more walls. There's a nest over here. Oh, okay. Destroy. Now we face the walls. Burn. I I'm noticing something. Like, um, each. Um, uh, characters or each type of what you call this uh, each type of weapon does affect your basic uh, attacks and stuff yes like uh, I I remember I had a teleport thing now I don't well yeah you had a uh, wait did you have a dagger or a sword uh, I think you, previously sword. I had a sword or dagger either or but the point is, like, um, now that I have a pistol, it's not really affecting in the same way. Like, so that's, that's, that's as I said, as I said uh, before, you get different abilities based on what weapons you use and what uh, profession you are. Which is pretty Oops. cool. There's a wasp win. Oh, there we go. Huge. Huge. Ah. Where, where is she? Dead. No, to someone with this. Ah. Uh. Somebody's gonna get axed. <laughs> Damn, shut up, Greg. Oh no, I'm poisoned. What do I do? Uh, oh no, I'm down. Fight to survive. Don't worry. I just need to. Yeah. There we go. I'm up. Yeah, basically you don't uh, die immediately oh, here. No. Hold on, I'll get you up. Oh wow. Basically you don't die imme immediately here if you drop to zero on the uh, hit points. Oh, okay. Cool. Basically you go into a down state and you try to get back up by either finishing the monster that killed that uh, brought you below HP or if somebody helps you get up. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. So if you get down, uh, no need to worry. Unless you're playing solo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think we're done. No, not yet, not yet, still more. Yet. What? 
Oh, you're 100% with this one. Oh, how much do you still need until you get... Oh, still a little bit. Let's see. Um, We got uh, a few things to discover up here. Alright. We got the point of interest in the Vista. And it, Oh, there's another waypoint over here. And assist hunter block the hunting lodge. Where? I'm just reading the... Accept it, yes. Okay. Just get up here. Oh, did. I threw the bones this morning, according to Brent. Oh, all right. Wow. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, just a little bit. Let's get this waypoint. Oh, and that's an event quest? What? Oh, this is waypoint, not event. Alright. Yeah. Okay, you need just a little bit more. Let's see, there's... Uh, there's another point of interest over here. Oh, wrong way. This is... Yeah. Oh, return stolen keg here too. Oh yeah, we can do that too. That's gonna push you over time. Oh, um, level up. Oh, you already are. Yeah, um, okay. I, I guess by discovering stuff. Yeah, I didn't think it would, it would give you that much experience. Okay, let's just get this. And then we can... Work. Oh yeah, uh... That... The narrow person story is unlocked. Oh, you're getting a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, what's this? Mock trial. Protein. Oh, yeah, you got the. Uh, you got temporary access to a mount for now. Double click? Oh! oh yeah. And uh, here's a new weapon for you. Oh. So, Mm. So, I, I'll we'll decide this later. <laughs> I, I got no idea. Oh, no. mm, it's not letting me save for later. Okay, cool. No, no, it's best that you just do it now. But I, I got no idea what I want. <laughs> well, you're using guns anyway. Uh, true, true. Um, what's this? Uh, pusher, pusher is a. What's this? Uh, it's a. Uh, oh, can't. So, to find that work, oh, it's a rifle. So, there's revenge, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, so, I'll just accept this one. Accept. Yes. Cool, now I can equip it to my. I mean, main pan, yeah. Then I can equip the other weapon that I had to the. Oh no, you uh, equipped it into the swoosh one. So you, you, you got it in the, uh, in the other, uh, at the bottom. Oh, oh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Since uh, you now have uh, the ability to switch uh, between weapons, so you basically put it in the empty slot. Ah, okay. So basically I can do this, th oh, I, I, I see. So basically, yeah. I can go for my dagger, whatever style I want. Yeah. Ah. So you can basically switch between the uh, melee and ranged if you want. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool. Ah, oh, melee and range. Oh, wow. I I did not of doing. Ah, oh, okay. Crystal. Okay, so let's see equipment. Uh, equipment. The or uh, pierce. Ah. Piercing sword, piercing sword power. Uh, this one. Oh, mm -mm -mm. oh, 
still seeing. Okay, so if ah, so if the oh yeah, basically you press that uh, button that's next to one and it switches back and forth between weapons. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, and pressing R makes me go. Go. Run. Oh yeah, auto run. Or you can just press num lock. Ah, okay. So what are we doing now? Return stolen kegs. Damn sent are stolen. Oh no. Playing the game like this feels like a shooter. <laughs> one. Oh yeah, you need to carry it back. Ah, okay. Oh, good thing I'm not slow, that's good. Yeah. And I can jump. They're small, I guess. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Over here. Uh. <laughs> Boys. Run, run, run! Could you please help me with that guy? <laughs> Boy, here's your keg, asshole. Goodbye. Two more here, cool. All right, let's go. I wonder, can you play this game with controllers? I honestly don't know. Huh. I mean, you can try to program it somehow. I, I guess, looking into it, probably. Ah, there's more stuff down there. One keg. This one? Oh, I'm not the ones over here. Uh, okay, I'll grab this one. Oh, this one by the tree. Yeah, that one too. Oh, we... How much Are keg well? do we need? Well, how much things you need basically depends on how many people are participating in the event. Because we're too well, each of us is getting, giving uh, a lot. Uh. So I think if we turn two more barrels in, uh, I think it should uh, be done. Looks like it. Like we contributed four. Five. Oh no! Did you need something? Is that all of it? There we go. I guess. I could have sworn I had more. <laughs> I'll wait here a bit longer. Just in case. I just waited out so that the uh, discount's down. Dense. Okay. Uh huh. Centaurs took my ale. All of it. What am I supposed to do? Let's try. Oh, I see. Sorry? I see now you, you I see now you get for the next ten hours you get the uh, free uh, raptor mounts to use. Ah cool. So let's see if I Oh wow. Yeah. So precious. So so precious. Jump slung. Well at least mine does. It was not upgraded, so it doesn't go very far. Oh yeah, let's finish uh, this hard pole here and we're almost done it. Oh, cool. Wow. There we go. Alright. 
I think now we can go, uh, hold on. Where does it say to you that uh, uh, you need fine. to go for the uh, perils of friendship? Uh, which one? Uh, the green one that's on the top right, that's the main quest. Oh, uh, find out what troubles Win has gotten himself into lately. Meet Quinn in Divinity's Reach. Oh, okay, that means we need to go into the city. Uh, let's see, uh, let's go to Village of Shame or to the Waypoint. Oh, oh, how do you do, do that? Do, uh, open minimap. Well, uh, I mean open map. Go, uh, zoom out a bit. Okay. The, the vortex is showing you where the entrance is. This one. Zoom in. Zoom in. Click the waypoint that's over there. Uh, oh, and I have to spend 12 gold. Yeah. Ah, okay, I mean 12 gold the is for money that, right? Yeah, the money scales depending on what level you are. Mm -mm -mm. And I think, uh, let, let's leave it here for a bit. Like. Okay. Yeah, so, um, feels like... So, uh, first impressions are in order. <laughs> alright, alright. So, Honestly speaking, uh, it is very interesting. Um, like I mentioned before, I am not a so MMORPG a guy. Uh, I, I don't really like the concept of it. But this doesn't feel that bad. Like It doesn't feel like I'm uh, tediously doing stuff because I need to do stuff. Uh, like example, uh, hunt down monsters to get their guts or something like that yeah i know that one all too well so yeah good. collect 12 bear butts <laughs> yeah like wait i killed 10 i only got one what the hell <laughs> um, somebody stole their butts <laughs> <laughs> but um with this one it doesn't feel um bad it doesn't feel like i'm doing busy work it feels like i'm playing a game even though the controls are not to my liking and whatnot, but still, I feel like I was playing a game. And just fun. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I can see myself sitting down and just playing this game for hours and on and like, it is really fun. Yeah, exactly. That's what. That's the reason why it got it got me back after like abandoning the game for like eight years or something. But I know. Uh, it started uh, back when I was still a WoW player and this game came out. Me and my friends bought it and we played for a while, but I don't know, something just drew us back into WoW because it gets so much to offer compared to this game when it just started. And Something's when you got to the max level, there really wasn't much to do, so we just sort of drifted apart. But after eight years of content that content that piled up, there's so much things to do over here now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, honestly speaking, with uh, how the game is right now, like uh, the character creation and the classes, like I, I can say this, like um, I dash say that uh, I might start I a so another character just for the funsies and uh, just play something new, play something else, like. Uh, maybe I'll just go for a cat person or whatnot. I mean, there's options there too. Well, I look forward to seeing that when you do. <laughs> yeah, but, but for now, this is already fun. Like, Silver Sanzo, like, he is just going to be a lot of fun. I wonder what she was going to say when he sees you plagiarize him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, no. This is an OC, no steal. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can get him to play, although with his limited uh, schedule, I yeah. don't know how long he'd be able to stay with this. I don't, I, I don't think he might, but who knows, right, who knows. But um, honestly speaking, uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, Jacob, for recommending the game to me. Uh, I'll take a look uh, and listen. I, I I'll just good. try and play for a bit, see how it goes. All right. If and, you ever need any help in it, Call me and I'll pop in to assist in anything you need. Alright, we'll do. And with that, I guess I'll wrap it up. Um, I, I don't have the script in front of me. That That is very troubling. I, I was not ready for the script. <laughs> oh, there you go with the mount. Uh, so, uh, give me a second just to open the script. Um, 
my goodness, the internet is laggy because of games. <laughs> oh, boys. But, um, where's this? Oh, goodness me. Oh, this week's script is not here. But, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy the game, the game is free. Uh, free to play, but uh, if you want to expand your character rosters or even uh, character slots, uh, and you, further content, uh huh, for for the content, you you can purchase the game. Uh, how much is the game, by the way? Oh, uh, hold on, let me just check. Uh, there's like three expansion that's that have come out over the years right now. Uh, let me just see. Uh, the words. Uh, play, and then we can uh, release media services. Oh, shop there is. Let's see. We got Battle Dragon in the Heart of Worms. These two together are about thirty dollars, or oh. thirty euros. Thirty euros for two of the expansion. Yeah, but if you want to uh, buy the whole collection, the in the Heart of Thorns, Breath of Fire, and the End of Dragons, it's gonna cost about fifty euros for all three. And the uh, the the End of Dragons is the recent one, so that one's a bit more expensive than the other two. Ah, but still, um, 50 euros, well, um, assuming that uh, you go for conversion rate for the dollars or whatever it is, uh, it's not that bad when you think about it because uh, 30 euros gets you two expansions plus new classes and also more stuff. And since the game is free to play, you kind of get value there. Like, it's just expanding your horizons and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Cool, 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 cool. And uh, I got script open. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissionsgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Jacob, where can the good people find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me on the DeviantArt page, Jakapon Tvotkar, uh, on the Twitter page, Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading uh, Thermal Rising fan fiction from the MLP, you can find it on finfiction.net. And if you're interested in the uh, original story uh, about anthropomorphic talk and talking animals in a medieval fantasy setting, you can uh, call Tales of the Ashes. You can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. Awesome, awesome. Go check it out, guys. Uh, also, if you like support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. If you have support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank you, Jacob. Lucky Knight. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Jacob. And I'll guys, see you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. Bye-bye, everybody.